Hello, hello. I am Annie Soul. This is Living with Soul. Welcome back to my channel. Here we discuss all things transformation from victim to victor, one thought at a time. There's so much to say, and yet at the same time, so little. There is a really big and special event going on today called the Eclipse. Maybe you've heard about it. Uh, there's been a lot of fear around today's events. A lot of wondering what's going to happen on the other side of things. Is the world going to end as we know it? And when I listen to these conversations, I too find myself succumbing to that fear, worrying about is there something I need to be prepared about? Is there something I need to know? And then I come back to center, I come back to the present moment, I go outside, I feel the sun across my face, I listen to the birds chirping, and I get grounded in the bigger picture. If you're someone who is super worried, super afraid about what's going on, this is something that you need to hear. Back in the time of the masks, a lot of us saw through what was going on, and in so doing, we became the first group to sort of become aware of the shadows of the world stage and really dive into what that meant. And as a result, we started to not care so much about things like appearances. Suddenly, our perception, the way that people around us perceived us no longer mattered. I mean, there were far bigger things to worry about, far bigger issues to tend to, like the separation, the divide between ourselves and our families, our close friends, our neighbors, our coworkers. The illusion had been lifted. There was so much more that felt so much more relevant to our daily lives than worrying about the way that we looked or worrying about things that really seemed to matter before. And that was the first sign of the lesson that had to have been imparted by this group to the rest of the collective. That's where you get into conversations about chosen ones and uh, groups of enlightened souls and people who have been more aware than others. That's where you kind of get into those kind of conversations. And we're having that moment again. We're having a moment where more and more people are being given the opportunity to see through what's going on to go beyond what they've been presented with, to ask questions, to sit with themselves and ask themselves really tough questions like, why have I chosen to ignore certain things? How has this truly made me feel? What do I actually need in this life? And we're facing a moment where there's a lot of fear being injected into the collective and then there's a lot of fear that we are injected, injecting into the situation by worrying about what's going to happen next, worrying about what it is that we can control, about what we can expect. And all of this fear is arising from the ego, the ego's need to control, the ego's desire to control. And really, as more and more events go on, we're really learning to lean into what it means to be a soul, to lean into what it means to be a spiritual being, to learn and understand how to become the detached observer, the one that is simply here to experience what is not to judge it, not to limit it, not to make it more palatable, more comfortable, not so that it fits whatever it is that we see is right, 
but to really surrender into the divine's plan, knowing that everything is happening for a higher reason. And whatever the outcome is, true power comes from within. True power comes from being able to, in the face of chaos, stand in your peace and to not lose that inner peace to remain grounded in it. That's why it's so important to meditate. That's why it's so important to cultivate moments of stillness so that you can come into the present moment and to remain so conscious, to remain at your true natural state. It's from here that everything flows. It's from here that, you know, there are courses being made about law of attraction and manifestation and how to live the life of your dreams. It's from having that ability to control the mind, to not succumb to fear, to stay in love, to stay in these higher vibrations, these higher frequency, no matter what it is that's going on around you. So if you are someone who's feeling a lot of fear Allow yourself to surrender to it. There is no control to be had. Whatever is going to happen is going to happen. As soul conscious people, we get to remember that the the soul lives on eternally. And all there is to do is truly be at peace with it all. Give yourself a moment to really just sit in the stillness of that, to really just trust. Ask yourself, what does it feel like to be able to trust, to be able to surrender, to surrender that need for control? Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk soon. Om Shanti.